Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, and today I am super excited to have Diego B back on the channel. Diego, it's been a long time, man. How you doing? <laughs> hey Ash, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thanks for having me on your channel. Dude, it is my pleasure to have you uh, back on the channel. Like I said, it's been a while, and you are going to be sharing uh, a Royal Giant deck today, a Royal Giant Miner deck, which I have actually not seen anything like this with the dual win condition with the, the miner and then you have the ice whiz nato tombstone it's been a while since i've seen this combo but it's still uh chugging along i can see in the arena uh tell us about a little bit about the deck and uh and why you like it so much man yeah so it's pretty just a classic rg deck with uh support troops uh i like the miner in there because it's really good to pair with an rg mm -hmm. either Either like uh, at the same time or like separately doesn't matter. Just to chip a tower. Okay. And uh, it also pretty good versus uh, three musky decks because you can RG uh, when they pump and then just minor the pump instead yeah. of having to waste a, a fireball on that. Yeah. Why do you prefer the uh, the tombstone in here over like the furnace, which is maybe a little bit more traditional with the uh, the royal giant? Uh, so like tombstones better versus uh like bridge spam type decks just have like a lot of bandits and battle rams stuff like that It's much okay. better at stopping So you're kind of mm -hmm. using tombstone more defensively versus like with a furnace It's mainly just for that combo of fire spirits, uh, you know for air cards or whatever Yeah, exactly. It's better on defense. Okay, and then is the way we're gonna hop into a match You can feel free to search right now if you want to I'm going to reset my okay. device because it might be bugged. But uh, you're currently 9-1 yeah. in the Grand Challenge. We're going to try to finish this off live, guys. Always my uh, the uh, some of my most fun uh, videos. So uh, I wanted uh -huh. to ask you about the, the, the Miner and the... Um, I'm in a game also. Okay, we're here with you. Uh, the Miner and the Royal Giant, are you using it the same way that you would in like a Miner Giant 3-spell deck? Or is it a little bit different in terms of Miner usage? Uh, it's... Yeah, I'd probably use it the same thing as a giant miner deck. Okay, Just pair cool. it together. Uh, right. Giant tanks, and you have uh, RG to chip. Oh, I mean, RG tanks, and you have miner to chip. So Yeah. Or you can use it against, like, a a, uh, a musketeer or an e-wiz or something if, if you have to. Exactly, uh, yep. So you're going against an expo deck. It's It might be, like, ice bow because of the NATO yep. in there. So I imagine you feel pretty confident about the matchup. Uh, yeah, the matchup is, of course, it's, it's in my favor, but... Yeah, and he might have uh, Inferno Dragon, too, who knows, so you might... Who, we'll see. Yeah, I just have to take it really slow, because he can outcycle me, too. That's true, too, yeah. And, yeah, uh... Yeah, there's also a chance he could just rocket cycle me if, uh... Another plays good it right. point. Another good point. So here we go, just kind of reacting to all the cards that he drops here. And there he goes yep. with a quick, uh, just like you said, quick expo. Yeah, even though this is not 2.9 uh, Expo cycle, just like Diego mentioned, guys, it, it cycles fast. I think it's, what, 3 or 3.1? Uh, either way, it's faster than your deck. Yeah, it's very cheap, but uh, coming into double elixir, it should, should be fine. Yeah, so against an Expo deck, this is actually good to talk about. Obviously, everybody says, oh, matchup, you have Royal Giant, whatever, but it's not obviously as easy as that. So are you going to be trying to save your Royal Giant here for Expo, or when do you decide whether to go on... Offense with the Royal Giant versus just defense against the Expo. Uh, it's. I mean, obviously, if he plays it at the bridge, I'm gonna RG it. But if he plays it like defensive, it's. Yeah. Uh, it depends really on my okay. hand is. Yep, and there he gives you kind of the nice bar barrel opportunity there as well. Bar barrel obviously does well against Expo. In addition oh, to yeah. Royal Giant. Mhm. Mm and now you send in the miner on the tower, and again, kind of just like you told us getting more chip damage with that miner while the tower is distracted on the royal giant so i can kind of see how this is working here yeah he also uh, wasted his nato so i could have se i sent him in the back knowing that he didn't have nato in cycle okay nice nice and there we go fireball comes in he's being really aggressive here really trying to break through your royal giant not working out for him so far and you go in with another miner that's gonna yep. make it that's gonna force him to have to answer your okay yeah slowly just chipping his tower like this it's pretty yeah. good I like, and you can see exactly what, what he's talking about, guys, with... It's gonna expo here. You're just being super patient here, not going, like, super aggressive or anything like that. No, I'll try to predict his expo, but okay. even if I didn't catch it, it's fine, because I'll just kill his support troops. Yep. 
and he has to use his NATO, he has to use his skeletons, he's using a lot of elixir here. He does uh, expo there, but you have your tombstone ready. Yeah, I can just fireball this. Nice call, uh, yeah. You can't NATO my miner. Nice. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Yeah, looking really good here. And again, every time that he's using his NATO, we're seeing Diego kind of go in with that miner, just knowing that he can't activate King or do anything like that. And again, saving that Royal Giant. So, yeah, this is really textbook how you want to handle this matchup so far. Mm -hmm. Are you spending a lot of time playing in the uh, in the off season, or are you kind of taking a break a little bit from the game, like in terms of like grinding it out and stuff? Uh, sort of. I still play it every every day, but yeah, maybe not as intense as like when uh, I was playing CRL. I got you. Are you gonna play in 2019? Are you still contracted with uh, Team Liquid, or is that kind of up in the air? Or? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm still okay. uh, contracted with them. So nice. Well, we'll be looking forward uh, to seeing you guys and getting more minor chip damage here again. Kind of rinse and repeat. Yep. Barbara's yeah. also very good with Expo, so. Yeah, and I like how you're just stacking up the tombstones, good. really annoying him here with the skeletons and the, and the tombstones. And this should be probably yeah. the next miner, probably should be GG here. Yeah, you know, very hard for him, but I got lucky with the matchup. Yep, boom, there it goes. Well done, man. Hey, I, even though it's an easier matchup, I like kind of just going over the basics, and, and I'm sure my viewers appreciate it too. So let's go into the next match here. And uh, while you're searching, I kind of wanted to follow up again on, on because I, I I talked to Surgical Goblin about this. I even think I talked a little bit to Azilius about it. But you know, in in terms of Team Liquid, uh, oh, you're already in a match. Jeez. In terms of Team Liquid yeah. season one, like what are your takeaways? Obviously, you guys, a lot of people just pegged you world champions. Boom. No one could beat these these guys. But uh, and you fell a little short of that, obviously. So, do you think you guys will have a different mentality coming into uh, 2019? Yeah, for sure. You know, people like saw us as the favorites and stuff, but uh, just uh, trying to remain humble. But yeah. it's you know it's inevitable with the names like Surge and Azilis. Of course, of course. Yeah, I think. Uh, it, okay, so let's talk about this matchup here. It, it looks like it looks like mortar. Mortar, yeah. So. <laughs> So again, you face Expo and then Mortar, which is good, but this is a little bit trickier than Expo, in my opinion, at least. Yes, yes, it is, actually. It's not as easy as it seems, because mm -hmm. they can really upcycle your RG, and uh, they can abuse all their spammy cards here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what are going to be... Okay, that was a nice NATO on your part. So for you to win this match, like, what is going to be the important keys for you here? Getting to double extra time, uh, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Double elixir time, so he can't really punish me before that. Mm -hmm. And probably just stacking tombstones. Okay. And just kind just, of just uh, having responding. Having tombstones to distract his mortars. Yeah. Okay. And it should get a little easier. Also, minor helps a lot here. Yep. And you do get a swing too with that mega minion. Not bad. Yep. Okay, when so you say that minor, rascals. sorry. When you mm -hmm. say that minor helps a lot, are you? Do you mean just for chip damage, or do you mean in a different way? Uh. Both ways, I can chip the, the tower when RG tanks, or mm -hmm. I can uh, send miners on like dark goblins, for example. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So he goes in on the right, and again having that ice whiz, nice. And then the king tower activation, really, really nice here. Okay, yeah, this should be very good. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. He's able to defend, but still, you don't really take a lot of damage, and you activate your. Your King Tower, which is really nice, especially against a swarmy deck like this. Oh yeah, it's gonna help a lot. Now, when you play the Royal Giant in this deck, are you? I'll let you kind of. Okay, you're dealing with this. It seems like you got it under control. So, are, when would be a, a, an appropriate situation to play your Royal Giant behind the King Tower versus? Uh, maybe we could talk a little bit about this in between matches. Actually, it might be a little bit easier. Okay. So you connect there for um... some damage. Feels like Royal Giant cycle the last two batches. She's just ready. Yeah. Um, I like to put RG in the back when I have tombstones up. That way you can't punish me with like a mortar. Okay. There you go. Nice fireball value again. Taking those girls' rascals out. And you have tombstones set up again. Yeah, he outcycled me here. I'm just yeah. going to have to eat this. I have to wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, should be good. Nice. 
And again, you have Ice Wizard right. Cycle. <laughs> yep. Yep, Bar Barrel and Cycle, and that's going to be tough for him. Well, he does have the gang there, but another hit. Okay, a minor can chip here. You can see the importance or the, the usage of the minor chip, too, is getting you a ton of damage. It's kind that's of very helpful. Kind of splitting his damage here a little bit, which is totally fine by you. Down to 606. We are 40 seconds into double extra time. Is this a deck that you find often will Diego go into uh, double extra time? Sorry, say that again? Is this a deck where you find you often go into double elixir time, like it, just because of the patience and stuff required? Yeah, yeah, it's much easier I'm, to play I'm double sorry. elixir. I'm sorry, double elixir time in sudden death overtime. You're, you're like, dude, Ash, yeah, I go into a double elixir time every match, you idiot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just very just very patient. Uh, I don't want to overextend or something because he can yep. always punish me. For sure. Better to be safe than, than sorry. Absolutely. And yeah, looks like one more minor fireball. Yeah, okay, yeah. you don't even need to. RG to tank, and then I'm just going to fireball with the minor here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Boom. One more, one more swing. Good. There it is. GG's, man. GG's. All yeah, right. So, very fortunate I've been getting uh, decent matchups here. Yeah, do you happen to have, feel free to go ahead and search for the last one, but do you happen to have, like, earlier in this Grand Challenge a replay, just in case we face another Expo or something deck against, like, a, I don't know, maybe a P.E.K.K.A. deck or a, a Golem deck or something? Or Lava Lee? Yeah, I have a really yeah. good one versus a Golem deck. Okay, if you can share that, we'll go over that for you guys, just because you never know what you're going to get in the live matches. But let's do the 12th, let's try to get the 12th one first. All right, here we go into the final match here. We were 11 and 1. We will go over that Golem replay, unless we're facing Golem right now as well for you guys. So, as far yep, as starting so plays, besides Tombstone, like, are you just going to wait, or will you cycle like a Mega Minion or Ice uh, Wiz in the back? Probably wouldn't want to cycle one of those cards. Like, not that good right now to do it in this meta. Right, just with all the balloon freeze wait. or whatever, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You Mega Minion, a, a right lane, and they just Lumberjack Loon like the left. That's not good. Yeah. Do you feel I like... I have Minor. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. I have Minor, but I don't really want to send it. I'm scared he has like a three musky deck, and then he can pump if I Minor. Sure, sure, sure. I think Do I'll you feel... just... Uh... Mm -hmm. I was going to ask if you feel like Freeze needs a, a, a more of a nerf, in your opinion. Oh, yeah, for sure. Freeze needs a nerf. <laughs> Too good right now in the meta. Yeah. So now you go in, when you see the poison, and you figure it's probably not running three muskies, so it's safe to go in with that miner there. And poison mega minion, at least we know we're not, probably not playing uh, expo or, or mortar here. Yeah, it's, so you think it's a lava hound deck. He just used his infernal dragon, so I can RG here. Maybe it's tombstone, yep. That yeah, should be good for me. Yeah, there it is. Nice uh, bar barrel too, applying a little bit of pressure here opposite lane. Now he's not gonna be able to really support that infernal dragon with anything. And you're gonna get a decent amount of damage. Look at a decent amount of damage, yeah. man! How how did you get that much damage off there? I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely a lava lava deck. But he yeah. uses Infernal Dragon, so he really doesn't have a tank killer. And I know he had Tombstone, so Barbarel just cleans that up easy. And this is actually similar to your second favorite deck. We thought about doing the the Lava Hound Lumberjack deck. It's it's I guess it's not that similar, except for the fact that it has <laughs> Lava Hound in, into in like a couple of the same cards, but. Uh, his e drag too. So now that you now that he knows what you're playing, it might be difficult to break through here, right? With the e drag and Inferno Dragon and Tombstone. It will be, but I'm just That's gonna have to minor. see. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see what's up. Yeah. See, I can uh, just fireball this. Yep. All right. Ado's gonna have to come in big here. Yeah. Right. Got a uh, double, triple dragon coming at you and a million pups. Poison's down, but luckily Ice Wiz is still going to take care of that. Well, your Fireball is going to do the heavy lifting there, but you're still able to get a couple hundred damage off of that left tower. <clears throat> Thanks again to the minor chip damage. Yep. So yep. 15 uh, seconds left here. here. Already, I can't believe this match yeah. is already almost over. It feels like we just started it. So here you're just going to chip yep. out, right? Like. Yeah, I have to be careful here, though, because he's going to make a big push. Big push, yeah. Um... I'll just send a miner here. I need to be aggressive here. That way he can't really go on offense. Mm -hmm. That's good. Send enough. Ooh. Enough. <laughs> okay. Not enough. Oh, no. Okay. There's the NATO. Wait, wait, wait. I'm back to miner. I'm back to miner. Okay. So I go back to miner. Miner goes in. 
Oh there yeah, go. there it is. GG's, man. <laughs> Making it look yes. easy. Uh, let's go ahead and go over that goal and replay. That way we cover both of the beatdown and both of the siege, and the video can be complete. So let's watch it awesome. together. It's a little bit... I'm trying to actually incorporate more replays into my videos, too. Even though my viewers love live matches, it's nice to kind of, you know, take it easy and not have to worry about the match at the same time. So let's press play in three, two, one, go. Go. And maybe just kind of yep. walk us through, you know, where your head was at during this match as it kind of goes on. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so you're starting out, obviously, again, Tombstone. Yeah, I got a uh, decent hand here. I have a lot of answers. Just uh, decide to wait. I got oh, impatient, so I just sent a minor. Okay. Yeah, then I see Golem, so it awaits. Yeah, when so, do, okay. how do you decide? This might be a dumb question, but how do you decide whether to put the, the, the Tombstone in the same lane versus opposite lane? Because you can get like, the skeleton stacking up on the, the Golem or the, or the Giant or whatever tank versus pulling him, you obviously prefer mm -hmm. to pull. It versus Golem, it's uh, better to pull him into the other lane to the left more. That way you can nato him, uh, nato okay. him first if, uh, to the King Tower, because that's what you want to do. Okay. Here, I used my Barb Barrel, so he, he put guards behind it, so I really couldn't nato the Golem to the King Tower. Mm -hmm. So I just had to nato it back and just play defense. Yeah, and you can see even defensively, man, no big deal. You handle that without without any issues. Of course, in double elixir time, it will get more difficult. But so, mm -hmm. in a matchup like this against a he much heavier deck, are you trying to get like tower down ideally, or at least a lot of damage in single elixir time? Yeah, I'm trying to get a lot of damage in single elixir. I uh, he nadoed my miner, but I'm fine with this because I managed to get a lot of chip damage here with my first push. Mm -hmm. I put in the miner uh, sort of very hard position for him to nato it even if it's even if you can still nato it but because it took him a while to do that yeah and uh yeah it allowed my rg to get a lot of damage here yeah that was a ton of damage and now 15 or so seconds left in and ice wizard helping you out too so now this is going to be kind of like your first double elixir golem push here are you trying to use normally cycle to like two tombstones per push uh no i just want to have okay. one tombstone i know he's going to poison it I know he's going to support the Golem, so I just put an RG to tank and a Miner. Because if he focuses on my offense, I can uh, just nato his Golem. Like, wow, no okay. Wow, I love the nato Golem there. And then I would just never have thought to put RG to tank on, on kind of on offense and Miner, you know? So you devoted a lot of your Elixir there just to kind of take him down his tower. And now you can kind of rely on your spells and stuff here, as you can see. Yeah, exactly. It's better to like let him defend my push than to him to like support my golem and just play full defense okay so a little bit of defense through offense using the using the goal uh, the, the royal giant excuse me and the minor there okay that's really good to know i'm glad we exactly. ended up watching this replay because that's mm -hmm. kind of important i think that i would have probably being a noob and all i think i probably would have just played a lot of defense you know instead of going aggressive <laughs> there so that, i guess that's really uh, a fundamental key for you guys to have success in this matchup so I guess that's going to do it, man. Flawless victories all around. Uh, three live wins, and then a uh, and then we went over a replay. So thanks again for coming on, Diego. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Glad I had some really good games to show. Yeah, and dude. And I hope you, go, you guys enjoy that. Yeah, we started things off. Like, you were one of the first pros to ever come on this channel, like, two and a half, three years ago with the uh, the very first, like, pro versus pro win streak. So it's bringing <laughs> back some nostalgia, bro. It's bringing back some memories. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'll never forget that when you invited me on your channel. Yeah, man, good times, good times. Well. Yeah, can it was really good times. Can you believe this is the fourth year of Clash Royale, man? It's like, I don't know how old you are right now, but you must have started when you were like 15 or something, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the global release was like March, and that's when I just turned from 15 to 16. Now wow. I'm about to be 19 soon. That's crazy, man. Well, I'm sure there's some people who are, you know, 15, 14, 15 who are watching this video right now. And maybe in a couple of years, you guys could be playing in CRL like Diego B, living in a team house, <laughs> living the life, getting played to play video games. So, uh, dude, thanks again for coming on. Any shout outs or anything before we let you go? Shout outs? Uh, no, just shout outs to my team, like Surgical and Charlie. Great sure. teammates. Love them. Yeah, uh, man. Shout out to uh, FA, our, our line chat. Where all the pro players are. It's, um, yeah, and that's it. All right, dude. Well, thanks again for coming on. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. 
Thanks, Ash. Appreciate no it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Good luck with the deck. Make sure you wash your hands afterwards, and you guys will be all right. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Brent Chong. Check out Diego B's stats and profile. Thanks to in the description below. Guys, thank you, and as always, take care, guys.